Alright, here we are at the East Fork Yurt. If you like to, you can put the sign down and it'll tell people there are folks in that, the yurt. Uh, when you get here, put your yurt permit in the thing. That way people will know that you are truly a permitted user of the yurts. And uh, they won't come down and harass you about uh, why you're in the yurt. And so uh, we've been working our way down from the main ski trail to the East Fork Yurt. And uh, as you can see from the sign right here, there's a propane tank right here. We'll get that sign replaced real soon. But there seems to be a lot of confusion about the propane tank. Everybody wants to turn off the propane at the tank. And then they get to fooling around inside here, and they adjust the pressure. You know, they turn off this valve over here, or adjust the pressure, or this valve here. It's real confusing, so we're going to ask you to leave all alone. My favorite spot, uh, actually, don't put trash in. It's really hard to get out. You've seen it in all the signs. The Forest Service is right. We have to dig holes. For we are in the East it. Fork Yurt, and these yurts are all um, set up with skylights that open and close most of the time. We've had a lot of problems with uh, people trying to seal them off real tightly. And uh, you know, these buildings are not airtight. And it doesn't matter how tight, how tight you tighten these down, uh, you're going to have to build a fire or have a warm sleeping bag or whatever. But uh, at any rate, if you will just crank it until it stops going up. And vice versa, just crank it till it stops. The uh, four lower yurts are all equipped with propane. Have a propane uh, powered stove and a propane lantern. Here's your on off switch for the propane. That's on. And uh, the uh, main con control for the light is right up here. We'll light that in a second. The same with the stove on here, one way or the other. And that way you don't have to go up to the tank and say, oh, well, we don't have gas and it takes a few minutes for it to get down here. You don't get confused about uh, the uh, pressure valve as opposed to the on-off valve. Oops. This is a pretty straightforward outfit. Some of them have igniters, some of them don't. This does not. And we are going to look for matches. I found a few of these in here. We'll see if one of them works. Maybe we'll have to go get matches out of my pack, which, uh, once again, we usually try to have matches here. But this is a straightforward uh, propane device. The main the gas flows through this first valve to the second valve. If you have a very low flame on the left side, you'll have to turn up the propane on the right side to get more gas. Leaving food here is not a good idea. No mice are going to get into these beans. But uh, a box of sugar is a surefire way to get uh, mice to come into our yurts. And we had problems with mice. Um, Granola bars, sure they're in foil wrappers, but a mice can destroy that in a heartbeat. And you know, if we can keep the mice out, we do use live traps, uh, bait traps, and decon. We try to keep the decon in a place where uh, your critters, your pets, cannot get at it. But be aware that it's here because two, three weeks without any mice poison and there's more mice droppings in the drawers than there is silverware. There are cooking utensils, coffee pot, uh, frying pans, uh, griddle, miscellaneous pots and pans, Joe, who does the dishes? Uh, please do your own dishes. 
And who takes out the trash? Please take out your own trash. You have a barrel um, for ashes. Uh, when you're cleaning out the stove inside, bring your ashes here. It keeps us from having ashes all over the ground and uh, destroying the all the yurts. In the winter, we set up. As soon as there's enough snow, we set up a snow fence around a portion of the snow so that we can keep uh, four-legged critters out and hopefully two-legged critters out, and you don't have to melt yellow snow for your water use. Lots of bunk space in these fork yurt if uh, you have uh, children, etc. You can fit lots of people in here on this uh, one, two, three sections. But uh, not all the yurts have this much bunk space. Bear Claw is a little more restricted than this. We're planning on remodeling those uh, bunks this year. Uh, there are various pads in various conditions here. I always bring my own sleeping pad, but uh, there are some here.